Imagine the situation. On board of your ship, you have a ballast water treatment plant which should treat all your ballast waters. But for some reason, it always gives you an alarm and stops unexpectedly. What shall you do as a seaman and an operator of the system? Let's discuss. Good day everyone, my name is Vitali, I'm chief officer of the container vessel and I had this problem long long time ago since the installation that since the first installation of the ballast water treatment system on board of my ship in the 2020 and i remember a technician who installed the system was saying if your system has some problem just follow the ballast water plan this is what we're going to do number one is we try to find the reason this could be an incompatible water what does it mean for example if your system works with filtration plus ultraviolet principle and there is dirty water in your port like the port of Africa or some dirty Chinese previous, most probably the reason of the system alarming and stopping will be clogged filter. There are two options how to solve the problem. Number one, we stop ballast operations, clean the filter, after that continue, or we can continue taking the water just by bypassing the ballast water treatment system. As you understand, cleaning the filter can take lots of time and you will not probably be able to finish ballasting operation during port stay. That's why bypassing the system is the best option. In this case, on departure from the port, when the water is more or less clean, you'll have to discharge the tanks you've taken water into and fill them up with the clean water via ballast water treatment system. During discharging, you have to be 50 nautical miles from the shore and have a depth of water at least 200 meters. During taking water, the position of your vessel doesn't matter because you will be taking the water through the ballast water treatment system, which is fully operational right now. Now, let's discuss the steps which we have to do for a proper ballast exchange. Plan unloading computer ballast water exchange in such a way that during every stage in ballast operation, you have no problems with stability. B. If you have an opportunity, avoid being in territorial waters of any state. C. Discharge the water from plant tanks by passing the ballast water treatment system. D. Make a record of discharging operation in the ballast water log. E. Fill up the tanks via BWTS. If you're heading to United States, don't forget to use Coast Guard mode for treatment. F. Make a record in the ballast water log of discharging and treatment operation. The other reason of your ballast water treatment system stopping and alarming is its small function. In this case, you'll have to do the same. Take ballast by passing a ballast water treatment system. On departure, we try to find out the reason of malfunction. Uh, usually you will need an assistance of ship's engineers for that. When the reason of malfunction is found and there is no chance to repair it immediately, fill up the defect note and inform the company without delay. You'll need to get the standard D2 exemption certificate as soon as possible. But now you must strictly follow BWM convention regulations until the system is repaired. In such case, you'll have to exchange the ballast in minimum 200 nautical miles from the nearest land. Uh, minimum 50 nautical miles is also allowed. And in the water depth of minimum 200 meters. If you're heading to United States, the water depth can be uh, 2000 meters, depending on the state. If you find your ballast water treatment system broken in the North Sea, you have to perform the ballast exchange using this circular. In the circular, you'll find the coordinates of so-called designated North Sea ballast water exchange areas. But if you're in port somewhere in the North Sea and you have to bypass BWTS due to low water salinity, you can exchange water ballast on departure wherever you like, simply by discharging it, bypassing ballast water treatment system, then taking new water while treating it. By meaning whatever you like, I mean avoiding coastal areas. Uh, it means that you have to be at least 12 nautical miles from the territorial sea baseline. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video. Hope all the ballast water treatment system on board of your ships will be just fine and you don't have any problems. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. See you in the next video. Bye.